Hey guys, Sasha from NetbookNews.com and finally got a new phone and I also arranged the previous phones that I had in the last, uh, I would say like two years. Um, that's a Blackberry Bolt, I think it's 9700, yeah, that's an, uh, well I've been a Blackberry user for three years. That's an HTC Desire, that was my first Android phone that I got about one and a half years ago. That's an HTC Mozart, my first uh, Windows Phone 7 phone. And um, that's my Samsung Galaxy S2, which uh, is of course uh, kind of protected in the sleeve over here, so it looks different if I'm getting it out of here. Here we go. And um, this is a Nokia Lumia 800 dummy, just to show off, to show the people over here in Taiwan where they have one. So this is a non-working sample, but uh, it has the same weight and just gives us an idea about the size of the Nokia Lumia 800. But you know what? Forget about all this. I've been really excited about all these phones, but I've never been so excited about a phone recently than uh, with this one which is the Nokia N900. It's a phone that is dead on arrival, but I don't care. That's uh, the very first, and it will be the very last, Migo OS phone from Nokia. Migo, that is uh, the merger of Mimo and Moblin, that uh, got started from Intel and Nokia together at the Mobile World Congress 2010 in Barcelona. Well, they're not partnering anymore. But I, anyways, I got this phone from the US, took me a while to get it over here. Taiwanese custom was kind of strict with me, um, but finally I got it. And here we go. That's this beauty. Uh, it comes, I think it was a 3.9 inch display. I'm not so sure about it. Uh, it's an AMOLED display, 800 by 480. But before taking a look at the phone, uh, let's take a quick look at the other stuff here in this box. Now, you know, that's what I like. It even comes with a little uh, kind of case that's going to protect its edges. You know, that's actually the very first time I've been unboxing a phone that comes with this extra sleeve or case. So, good job, Nokia. That feels well, kind of expensive due to this. Uh, we have a bunch of a quick guide, warranty, safety, whatever. Well, you definitely need to read the safety instruction because of some sharp edges on this device. I'm going to show this to you some later. And um, then we have a USB cable. Shoot, I forgot the power uh, connector of the PSU back home because I'm over here at Nicole's place to film this. And it comes with a little headset. Well, that's about it. And uh, it was, I think it was like 600, 620 dollars, 600 US dollars. That's a 16 gigabyte version. It has a one gigabyte, uh, it has one gigabyte RAM and a one gigahertz uh, single core processor from Qualcomm. And let's take a look at this beauty here. Here we go. That's pretty nice. Right? And you can see this curved glass, which I really like. Actually, I ordered the blue version, or oh, is it actually really blue? I don't know. Uh, they sent me the black. Uh, thank God they sent me the black version. Um, let's take a quick look around the device. Uh, there's a speaker over here on the bottom. On the right side, we have the uh, power button, the power switch, uh, the volume control, and uh, over here we have uh, for the SIM card, and when you push over here, a micro USB connector opens up and then we have a connector for your headset or a jack for your headset. On the back there is an 8 megapixel camera with a cult size lens and LED flashlight and I think on the front it was a 1.3 megapixel camera but I might gonna mix this up again and that's why I'm putting some annotations on our YouTube video. Um, let's compare this in terms of size, for example, here to the Samsung Galaxy S2. And you can definitely see it's not, not a huge size difference. The, the Samsung Galaxy S2 is a little bit wider, a little bit higher, but um, the N900 is definitely not as thin as the Galaxy S2. It is using the same case as the Nokia Lumia 800. But the Lumia 800 has a smaller display. I think this is 3.7 inch and this is 3.9 inch. And you will definitely see this as soon as I'm switching on the N9. It takes a while to boot up. 
by the way, let's let's check out the rest of this device. So it's uh, the speaker is at the same position. There's nothing here on the left. Um, there's an additional button here, which is for the camera, and you can also see that they arrange the camera or the LED flashlight uh, quite differently. And it would also come with these uh, micro USB connector and um, a slot for the SIM card, a jack for the headset, but it has no front camera while the N9 has a front camera down here. Actually also the first phone I see that has a front camera over here in the bottom right corner. Um, in terms of weight, I can't tell you if there's any difference. So we need to look up the spec sheet again and we'll give you additional information in the annotation in our articles. Um, let's take a quick look at the size comparison between an HTC Desire and the N9. The Desire is definitely heavier, it's thicker, has a smaller display, but in terms of performance I think this is uh, very close to the N9 right now. And yeah, well the modes it would be the same, right? And uh, it would also, well, I mean look at the this Blackberry thingy right now. That's <laughs> That, that's a different world to me right now, even though I, I really love this bolt. It's a very nice and handy device and even has a little uh, leather back. But anyways, it's all about the N9. Let's take a quick look before we're doing um, a little walkthrough. So I'm not connecting it to the internet right now. I'm just showing you um, the main screen. So this is your main screen where you have all your apps. It's very zippy, right, and you see how crisp clear this AMOLED display is. And when you just swiping from the left to the right, you're coming to the screen on the left, which is showing you all the messages, all new emails, your Twitter, Facebook accounts, when you're getting text messages, this will all show up over here, and uh, it will also let you know about the weather. Well, I'm not connected right now here. Oops, let's go back. Here we go, let's see. Maybe I should connect it to the internet first because it's just not working with all the internet. Anyways, but what you already saw right now, how I'm closing apps. So you're just uh, swiping from the bottom to the top. Oh, here we go. And, uh, well, it, it, it can tell you where we are. Let's uh, connect to a network over here. This will also help us to um, show you how you're typing in, how the keyboard looks like. Okay, now everybody knows Nicole's uh, network password, Wi-Fi password. Um, you have to come over and use it any time if you're in the area. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. That should be the one, right? Okay, we're connected now. Hopefully. Do it. Connect it. I think we are connected. It also shows you that uh, we have Bluetooth over here. Almost. Here we go. So you have this nice fancy Echo Weather app which gives you actually a 15 days forecast. That's uh, quite a lot. Um, so let's go back. So we have all kinds of different apps on here, even games and whatever, but we should do a detailed walkthrough of the Mego apps and the Mego ecosystem because it's absolutely different and I, I really like it. And over here you can see all the apps that you've already opened. Let's open a bunch of apps. Um, let's open, for example, um, Contacts. Oops, did I click it? By the way, this also shows you that you are online, so I'm connected to my Google Talk account, to my Facebook and whatnot. And uh, let's open the calendar. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well keep in mind I don't have a SIM card in there so this might be caused because, uh, by the fact that I don't have a SIM card and actually it's now, holy crap, fetching it's, from your Google. it's fetching from my Google account and I have lots of contacts, I tell you that. So this is a problem right now. 
this is also fetching all the other uh, contacts from my Google Plus account and whatnot. So, um, yeah, that's definitely a problem. I mean, look at this. Holy crap. Anyways, uh, when we're just swiping over here now, you can see that all these apps are running. And this is multitasking. So Nokia is claiming that you can run about, uh, I think, 120 apps. I haven't tried it so far, right? But this is all running in the background. And if I want to close an app, whether you're just pressing on it, and then you can close them, or when you're on the app, you can just uh, go from the top to the bottom. And that's about it, you know, just a first impression um, of Mego and the first impression, of course, of the hardware. I really, really like the hardware. The screen looks absolutely terrific and look at the viewing angles this is great this is uh, definitely a design statement and yeah it's not Android it's not iOS it's not Windows Phone 7 it's not Blackberry OS this is this is Mego and this will be the one and only Mego device from Nokia the Nokia N9 um, it is like I don't know uh, it, it's like buying an Italian sports car from the 80s right that are constantly breaking down Right. It, it's not perfect, but it's still beautiful. And I guess that's what the Nokia N9 is. So that's my first hands-on, my first little unboxing of the Nokia N9 Mego smartphone. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.